Hey, what's going on, fellow classmates? Mr. King, hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody had a good week, good weekend, rather. It has a good week. Um, it was hard not to get emotional watching those uh, videos about school. Um, you know, imagine having him, uh, if I had him as a principal, I mean, I can't imagine how different my high school experience and middle school experience probably would have been. Um, I thought it was super cool, you know, his tattooed leadership, um, him riding the skateboard in the, in the hallways, you know, telling the kids that he loved them every day, stuff like that. It's really awesome. Uh, now, it, it says to watch the videos and uh, talk about how you can shake up the game in your profession you're going into. Um, as far as a career goes, I I don't I've always wanted to get an education. Uh, that was my first major when I graduated high school. It was early childhood education, but then um, one of my MACC instructors also talked about how he thought I would uh, do a good job in that field for some reason. I don't know what he what he exactly what he saw in me, but you know I'm always one of the oldest students in the class. I'm 34 years old, you know, and um, a lot of these college classes, there's not very many uh, people as old as I am for some reason, um, obvious reasons. But uh, so if, if I had to pick a profession to go into, I would definitely want to be an educator, you know. Um, but I think I would want to be more at like a college level. Like I think teaching like world religion and philosophy like Mr. Hunsacker, Mr. Terry Hunsacker, he was my uh, philosophy and world religion instructor, and I just wish I could have a conversation with him, you know, he he was such a great, is such a great person, and um, really taught me a lot, and he told me that I was able to, I did well, you know, talking about things to the other students, and um, stuff like that, so, you know, I think I would try to, do, you know, be inspired to do something like this guy, you know, like, just be different, be a different teacher, you know, uh, don't yell at your students, you know, don't, don't you know, all that kind of stuff, um, uh, to not be normal, well, it, that's funny, because, uh, when I first started my streaming career as I call it uh, I was very successful in the first year I made eighteen thousand dollars in the first year um, and I know that's not a lot of money in terms of a yearly income for a job but um, I made eighteen thousand dollars playing video games um, so it was it was a it was a huge thing but I have never I have not replicated that first year uh, not even close but I used to dress up as a character like a like a uh, alter ego persona I used to put in buck teeth and wear an American flag bandana and uh, talk like a country person really bad and I stopped doing that because I realized that I was putting a stereotype a lot of people would come in and immediately stereotype me and I didn't want to like promote a stereotype of any kind so I switched back to being myself and that a lot of people um, quit watching after that but that's okay. Um, so I try to stand out with like, you know, just be, just being goofy. Um, I don't know what normal is, but uh, I try to make people laugh. I love making people laugh. Um, but just talking to people, I love talking to people. Um, asking them how their day's going, if they're having a bad day, you know. Even though I'm going through like some of the worst th stuff I've ever gone through in my life, uh, I still try to like put a smile on and fake it till you make it and just be a positive influence and a positive role model to anybody that's like watching my sh my videos and um, I used to be kid friendly uh, but we we moved on from that because being kid friendly kind of attracted some some weirdos unfortunately and to protect the kids I decided to make my streams where you had to be 18 or older just to come into the stream um, but I've had kids ask me if I could adopt them. Um, talk about how their parents were fighting 
too much and um, you know I don't know what normal is but I just want to I'm not really sure because I I don't want to say like being kind is not normal or being uh, caring or loving or is not normal or anything like that because I try to be all of those things the golden rule uh, treat others how you want to be treated like um, for example every night I play um, a game called Call of Duty I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it um, and it's known to be one of the most toxic communities in the gaming industry so sometimes after you get beat or after you beat somebody you'll hear you can hear each you can hear each other like the enemies can talk to you and everything like that you'll you'll get these just nasty comments and stuff like that so what I try to do is you know if someone's like yeah we just beat your explicit you, you guys explicit of suck you explicit of this your mom this and that I'm just like you know yeah you did you did a good job you know like you you, you won you know and I don't know why you treat people like this but I hope whatever's going on in your life or the reason why you you treat people like this I I hope it gets better and uh you know, you'll be in my thoughts. Uh, I'll pray for you or stuff like that. You'll get some nasty comments and stuff like that. But um, I try to differ differentiate myself in that aspect by just not giving in and returning fire with fire. Um, and for a lot of people, they like that. It's refreshing to them. They they like that. Uh, and some people they like they like the toxicity. I think that's why I'm not as uh, far into this journey as I thought I would be after five years of doing it is because uh, I'm, my streams don't have drama, they don't have negativity, they don't have toxicity. Um, and I think that's kind of like a popular thing in our society is, is like drama, toxicity. For some reason people like to see that stuff and hear that stuff uh, for the most part, not everybody. but. Um, And as far as being an employee, um, I always just try to treat my bosses, treat my managers with respect. Uh, you know, being a, a business owner, I'd probably do things what I would think would be different. Um, I already give away 10% of my money that I make from this, so I would just continue that. And um, hopefully someday it can be 15%, 20%, or like the guy from the five hour energy drink, like 90% or 50% or whatever. I can't remember the exact number, but, or all of it, you know, um, it would be a huge, a real blessing to, to, for anybody to become so successful that you don't have to worry about, you know, your bills, your mortgage, your, your payments. You can just literally start programs and, and create change in your communities and, um, that's something that I've tried to do here in Kirksville. You know, like on, for Thanksgiving last year, I made 100 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because that's all the money that I made from the stream that month. Um, I was able to buy a bunch of bread and peanut butter and jelly and stuff. And one lady ended up taking like 40 sandwiches. Um, she was living out of her car. I found her at the over there by the, uh, the Goodwill or by Jimmy John's and stuff like that, living out of a car. Um, I don't know. Um, my world's a crazy world right now. All of, all of our world is a crazy world, but I can't focus on what I can't control. But what I can control um, is what I do with my disposable income and stuff like that. So. I'm just going to continue to try and be a positive influence and positive role model for people that come into my videos, um, for my children, uh, for anybody I come in contact with in the community. Uh, I made a couple mistakes in the past, um, gotten into some trouble with the police here in Kirksville, and I'm still dealing with some court stuff with that. But I'm hoping that'll be over in, um, here in a couple weeks when I go to court. Um, I'll get put on probation, hopefully. And unfortunately, I'll be a felon, but um, our past doesn't define us, and a label like felon doesn't define who we are as a person. I have known plenty of good people who have been in and out of the system, incarcerated, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm the, I guess the emotion is still resonating from these videos. It was They're very emotional. Um, I'm an emotional person anyway. 
Um, you know, like when he started crying, talking to his teachers, and at the end of the video where he's like, we made it in math, we made it in this, and I guess he saved language arts for the, for the end because I guess that was the one probably they were struggling the most with. But he's like, we made it in language arts, you know, just a, um, you can almost feel the emotion in the room, and um, it's really beautiful. And so, yeah, uh, I hope that answers the question for the most part. Again, I don't know uh, what normal is, but whatever normal is, I don't want to be it anyway. So I hope everybody has a great uh, rest of the week. Um, I got to get this uploaded in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> So if you listen, thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody told you today yet, <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to start using that, I think. Um, anyways, have a great rest of your day, guys.